In this video, uh, we're going to solve this modelling problem. So, a car moves from rest along a straight road. After t seconds, the velocity is v metres per second. The motion is modelled by this differential equation, dv by dt plus alpha v equals e to the power of beta t, where alpha and beta are positive constants. So, part A, find v in terms of alpha, beta and t. So, in other words, we need to solve this differential equation. Now, it's in the format where we can use an integrating factor. So, that's good. So, what I'm going to do is, first of all, find that integrating factor, i, which is going to be e to the power of the integral, the coefficient of v here, so the alpha, times by, well, sorry, alpha dt. I was about to say times by dt, but... Um, OK, so that's what we want. Then that's just going to be e to the alpha t. And now I'm going to multiply through my differential equation by e to the alpha t. So I would get e to the alpha t dv by dt plus alpha times e to the alpha t v is equal to e to the beta t times e to the alpha t. Now, this side, what I can do is I can rewrite that like this. So, e to the beta t plus alpha t, which I could also write as factoring out the t, e to the power of alpha plus beta times t. Okay, so that's probably the neatest way to write it. Now, the left-hand side we need to spot is a perfect derivative, so d by dt, of e to the alpha t times v. So the left-hand side integrating, we get e to the alpha t v, and the right-hand side integrating, we get 1 over alpha plus beta, e to the alpha plus beta t, plus some constant c. OK. Right, I'm going to divide through by e to the alpha t. So v is equal to. So in dividing through by e to the alpha t, it's going to knock out the alpha t that's here in that power. So I'll have 1 over alpha plus beta, e to the beta t, plus c times e to the minus alpha t. I'll write it like that. Okay. Right, so I'd like to be able to work out C if I can. Now, I've been told that a car moves from rest. So that means when t is 0, v is 0. So when t is 0, v is 0. So substituting that in, I'm going to have 0 on the left-hand side. Uh, t is 0, so that's just e to the 0, which is 1. So I have 1 over alpha plus beta. And then I've got c times e to the 0, so plus c. So that means that c is minus 1 over alpha plus beta. Let me just rewrite that into a nicer form. There we are. OK, now I'm going to put it all together. So I've got v equals 1 over alpha plus beta, and then e to the beta t plus c, so take away 1 over alpha plus beta, uh, e to the minus alpha t, like so. I can factor out the 1 over alpha plus beta, and write that as e to the beta t, take away e to the minus alpha t. Okay, so that's the neatest form I can get my answer into. So then, part B, explain why, as long as the model applies, uh, the car will never come to rest. So as t tends to infinity, the e to the minus alpha t, because alpha here is a positive constant, as explained in the question, so e to the minus 2 times uh, t, and t is increasing, for example, that means that this is going to tend to 0. So that's going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. Whereas the e to the beta t 
will get larger and larger and larger. So um, that tends to zero, but e to the beta t will tend to infinity. That will get larger and larger and larger. So v tends to infinity as t tends to infinity. That's getting larger and larger and larger. This is tending to zero, and that's a constant. Okay, so uh, the car uh, will never come to rest. under this model. The velocity will just continue to increase without bound. OK, and so that's how we can solve a differential equation problem with an integrating factor in a more practical context situation.